Kamala Harris is crap. We remember. Uh, now, now, Kamala Harris. Oh, in some ways, it's just too easy, my friends. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. You talk, you talk about Donald Trump's record of achievement, and fundamentally you're talking about a great period of peace and prosperity for the American people. You talk about Kamala Harris and what she said, and man, we could be here all day. Think about it. Yesterday she had an interview with Brett Baer. Did, did you all see that interview with Brett Baer? Wow. Wow. That made me feel pretty bad. It felt, felt bad for her, and I felt bad for every single person who was watching, because remember... You know, Kamala Harris, we got to remember that the entire theme of her campaign is basically her pretending that she doesn't even know who Joe Biden is. Don't pay attention to that high inflation. Don't pay attention to that wide open southern border because Kamala Harris will tell you it's not her fault. She doesn't even, she's never even seen Joe Biden. That's what she'll go out there and tell people. She'll, she'll stand up w w in, front of, in front of crowds without a hint of shamelessness and say, on day one, we're going to fix the inflation crisis affecting American families. On day one, we're going to lower the price of groceries. On day one, we are going to secure that southern border. And anybody with a lick of common sense is saying, Kamala, day one was 1,400 days ago. What the hell have you been doing that whole time? Go do your job. So, so Brett Baer Brett Bayer asked her, well, the American people are saying they want to turn the page. And that is, in fact, the theme of your campaign. They want to turn the page. Well, who are they turning the page on? Because you've been the vice president for the past three and a half years, and you know what she said? She started talking about Trump. She is pathologically incapable of talking about the American future without talking about a person who hasn't been president for three and a half years. And look, I, I wish that he had been president for the three, past three and a half years. We wouldn't have had all these problems. But Kamala Harris... It is so shameless and something I think most politicians wouldn't be able to do to stand up there and run so far away from the record that she bears a lot of responsibility for. And I think if this election is about anything, in 19 days, it's about Pennsylvanians saying, we're voting for 